in one week post op, one week post op. It's crazy to think that just one week ago, I was like in so much pain because now I feel so much better. Oh my God, like I'm not really in any pain with my breast. They do just still feel pretty solid. Solid. Solid as a rock. No, literally, they feel solid as a rock. Like they're super hard um, and they're still pretty high up. So tomorrow I have my um, post-op, my one week post-op, and that's when I'll have my massages and that'll hopefully help them to settle in their natural, normal place. So I'm pretty excited about that. I've been wearing my Faja pretty much like since I've had this surgery, I wanna say I took it off like once um, and that's when I had went out for a brunch. But for the most part, I've been in this all day, every day, trying to keep everything compressed. Um, I do shower, so I'll take a shower and then I'll switch them out because I have about two of these. I actually just bought another one. Um, so I'll just switch them out, you know, after the shower and stuff, but yeah. So far, my waist is on itty bitty. But I'm loving it. I'm not really in any pain. I'm about to go pop a Motrin just for my lower back pain because that's where I've been having the most pain. It's just in my lower back. And my um, hips feel a little like tender, but most of the uh, pain is by my incisions. Um, but other than that, it's been going really, really well. I'm pretty happy with how I'm recovering. Um, I'm not taking any of the heavy painkillers anymore. Um, just taking my Arnica to help with the bruising because I did get a lot of bruising like on my hips, especially like right here. Um, I got a lot of bruising. So the Arnica is supposed to help with the bruising and the swelling. So I've just been taking that um, and sipping on some pineapple juice, which I hear is also really good for swelling. So yeah, I feel good. I'm excited about my uh, one week post-op tomorrow and I'll bring you guys along for that. Hey y'all, so today I am headed to my one week post-op appointment. Today we're going to just kind of look at my scar, see how I'm healing, and I'm also going to get a massage. Um, and the massage, you know, the intent is for them to kind of help drop the booze because right now they're still sitting pretty high up. They're still hard. I'm not in any pain, but um, they do just look high. So today I'm gonna get um, the massage and kind of talk about the massages. I heard the massages were painful, so I plan to pop one of my um, Arnica Montana pills um, to kind of help with the pain. These pills have been awesome. Um, they come highly recommended. They prescribed it to me and pretty much it reduces bruising, swelling, and pain. Um, so I plan to take them on my way up there because it's about a 30 minute drive and hopefully by the time I get there, they will kick in. So I will try to vlog as much as I can while I'm there, uh, so stay tuned. But so far, I've really been like satisfied with how I'm healing, how I'm recovering. Um, like I mentioned, I haven't been experiencing any pain um, only just some tenderness in my incision area, which is normal, right? That's where they cut me. Um, sometimes when I reach up, I can feel it kind of tugging. So I, I'm, I'm really trying to like avoid lifting things high as much as I can. Um, I'm still not able to lift anything up over five pounds. Um, and that's really just until I'm clear by the doctor. Apparently when you lift things heavy, it can alter like the shape and positioning of your implant, especially this early on. So I've been trying to avoid lifting as much as I, as much as possible. Um, so Khalil and Gibran have been really helpful, especially when it comes to Kalia. At the yeah. top, yep. He's my little helper. That's it. 
Thank you. And pour it in. You know the drill, big boy. I'm not gonna lie, every once in a while, you know, I'll lift her up, but I do it slowly and it's only like to like put her in her high tier or something. Um, but yeah, I've been really happy with how I'm healing. Um, my scar, I can see like obviously the incision and I can just tell like by the way he cut, it's gonna heal so nicely. He did a really good job with disguising the scar. Like I can just tell when it's officially healed, it's gonna just look like a natural crease in my armpit. So I'm really happy about that. When I wake up or try to get up out the bed, I do still feel just a little bit of pressure, but obviously not nearly as much as I did those first couple days. Ooh, they were bad. But it's been funny like seeing people's reaction to them like the other day I went and had brunch with my girlfriend and like she was like blown away by them <laughs> you are huge I love you <laughs> they, they only look big right now because they're so high up they um I'm still swollen yeah but how much are they gonna go down not so, that much right? a little bit a little bit now and then they'll um they'll like drop in place so but I'm super excited. I got it done. I love them so far and I just know that I'm going to fall even more in love with them once they settle and form in place. Like I can already feel my confidence like just building up because I was trying on some outfits like in my closet just to see how they look and they just look so much better with cleavage. Like. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Zero regrets. I'm so happy I got it done. And I just can't wait for them to just settle in their natural place. Jerron loves them. He does think they're too big right now. But I told him, I'm like, they're still a little swollen. They're still a little high. Uh, but he's like, Kia, you're so little with these big ass titties. <laughs> but I'm just like, bro, chill. I'm telling you. Once they settle and the swelling goes down, it will look a lot more natural. So, I'm gonna head out to this one week post-op appointment and I'll chit chat with you guys when I get there. It looks really good. And then after today, you're able to start shaving carefully yeah. around the incision and wear deodorant. this one out we're done nice so this one is just a little bleeding but that's fine okay appreciate it you're gonna cup it at the very very top where the implant starts so right here mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and then you don't want to cup it right here because this is your breast tissue right so you want to go underneath okay right here where that fold is right here mm -hmm. that's where the implant you want the implant to drop to that fold okay, okay? So then we're basically essentially going to be like, well, me, I'm going to cup it at the very top, cup it at the very bottom, and then I'm going to squeeze and it's going to move all the way down. I'm going to fill it down here and that's what I'm going to squeeze up. So essentially we're going to be doing like this. Mm. Okay. And that's how I do it myself too? Yes. Not too bad? Mm. Go ahead. You'd be surprised. I've had some people cry on me. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> So what will the continuous massages do? Just keep them, maintain them in this position? No. So what the continuous massages will do is soften the implant up mm -hmm. because it is kind of hard right now. Yeah. And then we'll make it so we'll make it soft. And then what it also do, it will stretch that pocket even more so that way the implant can go down and mm -hmm. go this area more okay. so that they're not so up here. Okay. 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 Yeah.
far as my lipo incisions i have one here on my hip that's the one i picked so it looks super crusty <laughs> i also have one in my belly button ring like my old piercing which i thought was a awesome way to hide the scar he also did one in my c-section scar like he just did a really good job at trying to disguise the incisions which i really appreciate i also have another one on my hips somewhere it was even hard to find that's how like good he did so it's like right there you guys can even barely see it but i have one there and then i have three on my back So I just got done with my appointment and it honestly wasn't that bad. I want to say the whole appointment took like maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, the massaging didn't hurt as bad as I thought it was going to hurt. I think popping the meds beforehand definitely was helpful. Um, it just felt like an aggressive massage pretty much. Um, but what's crazy is I can tell that they shifted. Um, it feels a little bit tighter um, and they don't feel as high, which is weird. I'm like, yo, how did you do that with just one little quick massage? Anyways, I'm going to head to Walmart to go pick up some stuff for pizza because I told Khalil we would make pizza for dinner tonight. I swear, this boy loves him some pizza. Like, if he could eat pizza every night, he would. The best eats. I love when they have just everything together. We got the pepperoni, we got the pizza crust, and we have the pizza sauce. Just need the cheese, and I'm done. Walmart for the win. Pizza? Yeah, didn't you say you wanted to make some pizza? <laughs> Do you still want to make it? Are you ready to eat? You want to make it now or wait? With Kalia. Hey, Mama. Hey, Kalia. Hi, Mama. How you doing? <laughs> Where's your shoes? Where's your shoes, girl? Where's your shoes? <laughs> Are you gonna help us make some pizza? Are you gonna help us or what? I want a great. <laughs> all right, Kalil. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, it hard, so it like whipped no. all over the truck. Oh, dang. Kalil and I were just looking at her like, <laughs> she got it on his phone. Like, oh. She did it on purpose. <laughs> Good job, girl. <laughs> got your apron on. You putting your hat on? I think your head might be too big. <laughs> what are you doing? Put your put your head on. <laughs> yeah, not me. Come put on. It on. Put it on Kalia. Let's see. Okay, Kalia. Look at you. <laughs> Um, let's see. I think we have a bigger one. You can wear mommy's. You can wear my chef hat. But what can you have with your hat? It's okay. I don't need one. You're going to be the one making it anyway. Put it on. There you go. Better? Mm -hmm. All right. Do you want to just pour the, just pour the sauce on the pizza? Mm -hmm. You want to just like pour it like this? No. You want to just scoop it? Okay. Do you, boo boo? Chef Kelechini at your service. Where's my mustache? Okay, hang on, let me draw your mustache. Yeah. All right, let me see you. <laughs> let me see you, let me see you. Kelechini. Enough sauce. Can I see? What'd you think? You like it? It won't come off. Yeah, it's, it's stuck there forever. Mm. What's wrong? Mm. Don't you want it to stay forever? 
You was gonna be stuck like that is. This but I don't want to join because I don't want people to laugh at me. Nobody's gonna laugh at you. Yes, the wall. Aww, but it looks cool. It looks like your name is Kalachini. I don't want to be Kalachini Okay, I'll wash it off, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.